pick. We could react a primary amine with a carbonyl to form an emine, and we could react a secondary amine with a carbonyl to um, form an enamine. So first example, we'll look at the primary amine formation. So we'll take a ketone and react it with a primary amine in a solution with a pH of 5, which is slightly acidic. Um, it's The lone pair on the nitrogen will attack the carbonyl C while simultaneously kicking up the pi bond um, uh, electrons onto the oxygen, which will form this structure here, putting a plus charge on the nitrogen and minus charge on the oxygen. Now, who gets protonated or who deprotonates or protonates, um, I don't think it really matters. So just to simplify things, um, we're going to use um, the protonator and the deprotonator all within the same structure so we don't have extra molecules floating around and um, making things look more convoluted than it needs to be. So we're going to take the lone pair on the oxygen, have it deprotonate this um, H on the um, nitrogen to get the structure here. Then now we're going to take this other lone pair and take the other um, proton from the nitrogen to get this structure. Now this lone pair will come down to form a pi bond while simultaneously kicking off the water to get this structure. And there we have a primary amine reacting with the ketone to form an emine, which is this structure here. Now let's look at an example um, with a secondary amine. So we'll start with the ketone again. So ketone, and we'll make this a um, cyclic ketone with a cyclic secondary amine. Sorry, I'm just going to erase to make some room here. Okay, so then there's a lone pair here that's going to attack the carbonyl C again, kicking up the um, um, pi bond electrons onto the oxygen again, and then you get this structure here. This is the carbonyl O, and then over here we just created a bond with the carbonyl C and the nitrogen. <clears throat> now nitrogen now has a uh, has four bonds, so we get a plus here, and then oxygen right now has one bond, so it get uh, it has a formal charge of one. Um, and then again, to simplify, we're gonna protonate and deprotonate all um, intramolecularly, and this bond goes to the nitrogen. So you get an OH here, and then we got rid of all the formal charges. We have a lone pair here. Now this lone pair will come down to form a double bond while at the same time kicking off the OH. And then this structure will then look like this. There's a plus charge on the um, nitrogen. Now this is highly unstable. So the OH that we just kicked off, it's going to deprotonate this hydrogen here while this forms a double bond simultaneously kicking up one of the pi bonds onto the nitrogen again. So what you end up is, sorry I'm running out of room here, this structure here which is, which is an enamine. So we used a carbonyl reacting with the secondary amine to form an enamine, whereas a primary amine uh, reacts with the ketone to form an uh, emine.